hey, I just got back from a carnival, and it was really, really fun. Wow. And, and I got this balloon, but it's not doing so well. Anyway, hey, it was really neat, because as you actually entered the carnival, you actually got a sort of a fun, a fun like, uh, ticket. Let me tell you about it. So a carnival gives a prize to each customer. And upon entrance, each customer receives a scratched-off card that says one of four things. It either says free popcorn, free corn dog, free game, or free drink. Now, a card has a 4 over 15 probability, 4 fifteenths probability of being labeled free drink, and a 3 tenths probability of being labeled free corn dog. Mmm, nice. So, here's the first thing I want us to think about. Let's explain why the events free drink and free ride are mutually um, exclusive. No, actually, it's not really free ride, I'm misunderstanding that. Actually, free corn dog. So why free drink and free corn dog are actually called mutually exclusive? Well, mutually exclusive just means two events where they both cannot happen at the same time. And so why these events are mutually exclusive is because we get one card and there's only one thing on it. It's either going to say corn dog or it's going to say drink. So therefore, those two events are, in fact, mutually exclusive. So that's why. And now let's actually figure out what the probability that a card says free drink or, or free corn dog. So here we go. I'm actually going to let go of the balloon. You know, isn't it fun when you let go of a balloon and it goes way up to the sky and you can watch it go up? Here we go. It's going up, way up in the sky, way up, way up in the sky. Hmm. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. It turns out to find the probability of mutually exclusive events, it's pretty easy. Since they sort of don't overlap at all, either one happens or the other happens, the word or is my cue when they're mutually exclusive that we add the probabilities. So if we have mutually exclusive events and you want to find the probability of, well, here we say the, the union, so A or B happening, A or B, that equals the probability plus of A plus the probability of B. So in this case, it's really easy. So what's the probability that we're going to actually see a free drink or a free corn dog? Since they're mutually exclusive, we just take the probability of a free drink, which we know is 4 over 15, and we add to it the probability of a corn dog, which we know is 3 over 10, and now we need to add them. Well, how do we add them? We get a common denominator. So I'll multiply the top and the bottom here by 2. And so I see 8 over 30. Multiply the top and the bottom here by 3. And so I see 9 over 30. And so I see the probability actually equals 17 over 30. So that's the probability that either we get a drink, a free drink, or we get a free corn dog. When two events are mutually exclusive, if you want to find the probability that one happens or the other, we just add up the individual probabilities. No big deal.